rolling down the M4 motorway heading towards Swansea. Let's pick a load of uh, bags of cement up. Roughly about 22 pallets. That's got to be sheeted. This is uh, more or less a regular uh, run for us down here. Uh, there's always somebody coming down here, but sometimes I come down here about twice a week. And then other times I go to other parts of the uh, UK. But uh, yeah, it's a nice day today coming down. What you can see in distance there is uh, Port Talbot Steelworks. Well renowned for its steel. It employs uh, quite a lot of uh, people from uh, hereabouts in uh, South Wales. A lot of people rely on that place. But, um, that's been uh, pretty well going since I've been coming down here. Well, 30 odd years or so, I would imagine. But um, what you can see way over in the distance there is the uh, the Breckens, the Brecon Beacons. And uh, you can actually ride over there. Quite high up, mine, but uh, you know you can still ride down to uh, down to Swansea and beyond. Swansea is uh, quite a renowned place. Um, it's one of them sort of places that uh, you can catch a ferry that takes you over to uh, to Southern Ireland. There's quite a lot of uh, Irish guys come up and down this road. 24-7 and uh, the, uh, we go to all destinations, destinations, London, North, Manchester, everywhere, just about everywhere. Yeah, we're uh, slowly making our way towards the town centre of um, Port Talbot, quite a big place. Uh, South Wales standards. That's just a small view that uh, you can still see up in the Breckens there. And uh, it's quite busy today. Um, not too bad, uh, sort of westbound, that's the way we are going. Just going past the uh, Port Talbot turn off now. As you can see on the left hand side, there are a uh, roof of the houses. This motorway was built pretty well over the, uh, the tops of the houses. I wonder, surprised me sometimes, uh, how they ever got away with it, but there you go. Uh, these things were meant to be. Um, but, uh, I wouldn't like to be thinking how we're going to be living down there on the left hand side. It's, uh, it's quite a busy motorway, is this? all the way to uh, London eventually. It's quite a, a long stretch. But uh, nevertheless, we're still, uh, still making our way down towards the uh, cement factory. Morris's uh, cement factory. It's actually uh, more or less um, in the old docks of uh, of uh, Swansea, uh, were the um, fuel depots, or used to be, uh, many moons ago, and uh, that closed down, and one or two other uh, companies took over, and uh, made use of uh, the land going up to uh, Port Talbot itself now, as you can see, you got the uh, uh, power station, the two cooling towers in front of us there now. Not that far away to go now. But um, stayed here quite a few times in the past. When I worked for different companies, uh, Swansea, Mothertoonville, and quite a few other surrounding uh, towns. Nice place, nice, nice people to. Uh, get to know as well. But uh, believe it or not, uh, the Cornish and the Welsh have got quite a lot in common.
because they're all Celts. And a lot of the Cornish language is uh, based on uh, some of the Welsh uh, language. Well, here we are, we've just arrived at Morris's Cement. Practically uh, come to our uh, end of our destination now, our journey. This is the old docks here. And the shed on the right hand side at the end there, that's uh, where I've got to back into to get the cement. Just coming round now, that's where the container place is for the ships. And there's the bags of cement I'm picking up back of that trailer there. And that's it. That's the end of the story. Till the next uh, little adventure.